Hi guys, um, today we're going to upgrade Eagle Tree Guardian 2D 3D stabilizer. It's very simple to do it, but you know, I thought why not we can uh, make a video for how to upgrade it. Frameware, so you need a USB cable and uh, make sure you have the USB cable. Uh, that's the USB hub is a uh, a small a small so uh, it's not U a normal USB is going to work it out so you need an, a small and you can connect with that and you can put this U USB cable in your computer and then you connect with your uh, Eagle uh, Tree Guardians when it's connected uh, it's very simple to do but you know when it's connected you can see the wire hanging around there just leave it like that because uh, I don't want to take the hub out it just make your things loose so I I decide to always keep keep like that right so is every time you take it out and put back as uh, make lose your hub so I just one time push it and leave there for forever uh, now you can go to the Eagle Tree website. It's called eagletreesystem.com. When you get there, you can see on the main page Guardian Eagle Tree Guardian to 3D stabilizer. It's very easy and to do it, but we go through. Now you go and click on uh, support. When you click on the support, it will give you the option. So here we go. We click on the supports and then click on download latest software. When you click on the latest software, the page will come where you can down for the window or Mac. But I got the window so you can click download release version 10.48. You don't worry about anything. Any number could be there 10.4. 50 51 because you know it's just the upgrade version so you click there and then save the file set up files and is downloading when is download complete so wait for the downloading there's a nine point something mb there so it's not to be used file so when you download you can click this box you go on the your screen you can say the setup file if you have a windows 7 please run with the run through administration when you click on the run through administration is going so it's preparing so when you done click on the next button but make sure I already had this on the in my computer so but anyway I'm going to do it so put I'm going to click repair so you guys know how things work click on uh, and then click install it will take a couple of seconds I mean couple of minutes see it's very quick finish when you finish you get icon like that so click in the icon and when you click on the icon hopefully there will the box yes say the firmware you guardian to 3d step riser blah 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 you need to, to upgrade click ok see on the top is saying 1.17 is my firmware so I'm going to update with 1.18 it's very simple click on this and you can click on there and hopefully we'll work it out see so I click there said the firmware guardian 2 3d updated need to update so click again and then click again and it will tell you the time he's saying uh, take one to two minutes so please do not connect it or disconnect it while the upgrading the firmware we'll click done and still wait is nearly look like I think has been done he's saying firmware successful, successfully updated and you will open the new dialog box dialog box you can see the your guardian when you move you can see in the blue color and gray I mean yeah and you can see through the arrow and it's very 
simple is easy to upgrade my one is a fixed wings because you know so you can change a lot of options so we're going to slowly do it right we make all the possibility and hopefully i'll make the another video guys uh, to, about the option because i need to a little bit more research so click on 2d made so you can head uh, hold gain and all this stuff option there you can i don't know anything about honestly guys so i'm not going to touch it leave as a factory setup then 3d you need to be professional okay if you know that what you're going to do then you go on this 3d made option otherwise uh, most recommended if you don't know what you're supposed to do please do not muck with that but you can do it to go to the servo configuration servo configuration you know the how much you want to move your server you also control and this is the advanced setup for the, your server so you guys do but if anything goes wrong is nothing worry about you just uh, you know find out where's the button of uh, must be somewhere in uh, restore the factory setup and that's all you do so from here up to date is already done and then you can see on the corner left hand side it's a factory setup you can click on there and get it out and thank you for the watching what i can say more thanks thanks for the watching and if anything you guys need it just let me know i'll try to help you out good luck